Well, good morning to you. The school year is in full effect, but sometimes it can be tough for students to find their footing. There's a program called Inspirational Workshops, and it's dedicated to helping all students feel like they have a place in the classroom and to hold educators accountable as well. So I'm joined by Teresa Hardy, the founder and executive director of this program. Good morning to you. Thank and, and tell us you. about Inspirational Workshops. Yeah, so Inspirational Workshop is an organization that is really all about providing people, especially young people, with tools to be, the own, to be their own architect of their dreams. We have four areas of focus. We focus on youth development, personal and professional development in the workplace, and then life coaching. And with our youth development, we have a program called Trailblazers, which is all about youth dismantling structural racism in education. There you go. So who can be a part of this program? Yes. Yeah, so who can be a part of the Trailblazers program? We sure. really work with um, anywhere third graders all the way up to college students. And so we go out into the community. We go out into schools, colleges to really support students and empower students to be able to know that they can have they can have what they desire, the things that they desire in life and that they can create change. OK, so and I think what, what's cool about this is that in some ways the students are teaching the educators yes. and things about their experience yes. and what's real for them. Yes, and so we have four pillars with the Trailblazers program, which is personal development, social justice, college and career exploration, and then student-led PD. So the students actually are coached and trained all the way up from, like I said, third graders all the way to college students. They're trained and coached on how to provide PD for their educators. Um, our first, in, our inaugural group um, actually gave a PD to their educators on implicit bias, at seventh and eighth graders at Washington Middle School and that was the first time that we did that last year and it was amazing. That is phenomenal. What do schools get out of this program? So schools, there's a lot of things schools get out of this program. So really, when we go into schools, we change the narrative. A lot of students don't realize their brilliance. They don't realize how amazing they can be as a student and in their personal life. And so we go in and we empower students to be the best student that they can be, to be the best person that they can be. And then also, the educators get a lot out of it too, because as we mentioned, we coach the students to give PD, so the educators are able to hear from the youth on how they can be the best teacher that they can be, how they can create an environment that is conducive to black and brown students. Okay, so, and we, we've heard some great student success stories as well. Can you, can you share one with us? Yes. So I think I shared a little bit. One of our biggest success stories was at Washington Middle School when the 7th yeah. and 8th grader actually led a PD on implicit bias. Um, I think that experience for them, they walked away feeling so empowered um, and exactly. for their peers as well. So when we first did this, their peers uh, were like, every, everyone was like, I don't want to do this. I can't go up in front of my teacher right. and do something like this. Um, after our first two students led that PD, the second time we had five students that wanted to get up in front of their educators and they let one on how to build healthy relationships from a student of color's perspective, um, which I think is phenomenal. Another just a general success story that we have had is like I said before, we're really changing the narrative. Students come into our program, some of the students never even want to speak. They don't want to communicate, they don't want to engage. Afterwards, you can't get them to stop talking. You can't get them to stop talking about injustice and how you can't get them to stop wanting to stand up for what's right and what's just and create a school that is conducive to their learning. Teresa Hardy, thank you so much for coming on yes. today. This is this is enlightening. They call it education for a reason. It's not yes. just education for the students, mm -hmm. right? It's it's the, the whole process. Exactly. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I appreciate it. And you can uh, visit inspirationalworkshops.com for more or, information. It's dot org. I'm sorry, inspirationalworkshops.org. <laughs> yes. All right, Grace, let's get a look.